Hello everyone, welcome to the class. And in this class, we are going to revise figurative language. Okay, so let's write here. Okay, so who would like to tell me what is figurative language? Okay. Yes. Jose, do you know what is figurative language? No, sir. You already have learned this. Okay, we have discussed it in the class. Okay, Abatul, Ajra, do you know what is figurative language? No, sir. Okay, let me just uh, remind you. Do you know what is a simile? Just tell me in yes or no. Yes or no. Do you know what is a simile? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. All of you know this? Hajra, do you know this? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you know what is metaphor? Yes, sir. Okay. And maybe you also know personification. No, sir. Okay. How many of you know this? Okay, does anyone know what is personification? No, sir. Okay, so so see, as you know that simile metaphor, you already know these. These are figures of speech. Okay, so we call them figures of speech. Figures of speech, uh, we many people also call it when they use it. They say it's a figurative language. Okay, so what is a figurative language? It is. Uh, let me just put it some text here. Wait a minute. Okay, now see. What is figurative language? Figurative language refers to the use of words in a way that deviates from the conventional order and meaning in order to convey a complicated meaning. Colorful writing, clarity, or evocative comparison. Okay, it uses an ordinary sentence to refer to something without directly stating it. Okay, so it is a kind of uh, you know say strategy to uh, share our ideas in a more colorful way, in a more uh, uh, complicated meaning. Okay, so our ideas become more clear or maybe more evocative. Okay. So, for example, tell me what is uh, simile? Okay. Haya, tell, tell us what is simile? Hmm. Anyone? Haya, how would you tell us simile? Yesterday also I gave you a handout. Hurry up, quickly tell me what is simile? Anyone raise your hand or give me an example of simile. Yes, Hajra, you tell us, you said that you know this. For example, you are moon like, you are moon, you. Okay, you are like a moon, maybe, right? You are like a moon. Okay, now this is example of simile, right? Okay, now. How would you define what is a simile? Okay, so see, this is example of the simile. You are like a moon. Sir, I'm telling definition of simile and metaphor. Okay, tell us. Sir, simile books for mind are like water to plant. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is example also. Okay. Yes, example. And metaphor, a man without the habit of reading is lost is darkness. Okay, so these are some of the examples that we had discussed in the class, right? When we were writing yes, the paragraph, so I had told you these examples, okay. But can you tell us, uh, you know, what is simile or what is metaphor? Anyone? Now see, simile we use for comparison, okay. So it is used for comparison. 
Okay, so here this is so simile is used is used for comparison. Okay, and uh, we can also say with the help of words like words such as such as like and is okay so these words is and like they are used okay in assembly for comparison purpose now for example you gave us the example you are like a moon meaning you are comparing someone say you are comparing a okay a with b somebody you know is like a moon okay so see it's a comparison right so what is simply simply is a comparison okay and uh, it uses words like words such as like and is okay so what is metaphor now metaphor is also a comparison okay metaphor is also used to compare okay to compare two things okay now it's a direct comparison okay let me write it it's a direct comparison so meaning you won't use words like uh, you know like and is okay words uh, such as like and is you won't use that meaning you would say somebody for example mr a is mr or mr or something you know b meaning a is b you would say somebody is something okay so meaning you won't use the words like or is okay now what was your example here for example uh, let's say ali is a lion okay ali is a lion now see i said a is b okay meaning ali is something okay ali is a lion i didn't use any words such as like or is okay is it clear now yes sir so um, simile and metaphor both are used for comparison okay so in the simile we would use uh, words like and is okay in metaphor there isn't any word like this it is a direct comparison okay so we would say a is b meaning for example ali is a lion okay now what is personification okay personification is also a figure of a speech so these all are figures of a speech and there are some more okay so today we are discussing three already we had discussed simile already in the class we had discussed metaphor okay so we have revised them and today we are going to also learn a new figure of a speech that's personification do you have any idea what is this yes no one knows this now figure uh, personification let me tell you what is personification when you give qualities or traits okay of humans to non living things okay then it is personification so what is uh, its definition for example giving human traits okay human traits are qualities to non living things okay are you getting now for example i'm saying my books are sleeping in my bag now how i gave human qualities to a non living thing can you explain this what is here you know something related with human humans okay and what is something you know non living here who would tell me yes how are we nova who is this student please write your name i'm going to remove you okay only students with proper names are allowed in the class 
So can you tell us who you are, please? Unmute yourself, or I'm going to remove you. Okay, there is a student in the class with name How are we Nova. Okay, so I'm removing you. Uh, please come with your original name. Okay, so uh, yes, Hajra or Hayabatul tell us what is here. Uh, something related with humans. Okay, what do humans do in this sentence? There is there any quality of humans here in this sentence? Haya, you tell us. Hurry up. In this sentence, Haya, what is something that humans do? Haya, unmute yourself, please. Hurry up. Yes, sir. Okay, tell us what is something humans do? What is something in this sentence that humans do? Yes. So humans go to sleep. Okay, very good. Humans sleep. Okay, so this word shows us that this is human quality. Okay, so this is something humans do. Now in this sentence, this quality is given to what thing? Which thing? Yes, who are sleeping? Sir, uh, book. The books, okay. So my books are sleeping in my bag. Now books are non-living thing, right? So in writing, we use personification to give uh, non-living things human qualities, human traits. Then what happens? The impact these words give it's more deep, okay? It's more com colorful. It's more evocative, okay? For example, if I just say my books are in my bag, then it's not that evocative. Okay, it's not that lively. It's not that colorful language. We can't understand them, you know, that much. Uh, when we say my books are sleeping in my bag, meaning we get a little more deep meaning. Okay, so maybe it has been many days that I haven't take, uh, you know, uh, read my books. They are just in my bag. Uh, it also gives us that, you know, uh, my books are maybe resting okay maybe i have read a lot okay so depending on the situation uh, we uh, can figure uh, okay we can understand okay so do you understand this can you give us an example of personification now all of you hajra haya uzair give me an example of personification now yes Yes, Ajra. Okay, now, uh, can you tell a sentence or I'll take you to another screen now. There we would discuss some more about these uh, three figures of speech. Yes. I give us an example of personification. Yes. Can you hear me? Okay, now I'll take you to another screen. The handout that I gave you yesterday, we would discuss that, okay? Okay, can you see the new screen now? Please participate. Don't just sit there yes, you know, silently. Okay, so uh, read the first sentence here, this one, and then tell us is it a metaphor, simile, or personification? Read the sentence first. My little sister is is sky is a fox. It is sly is a fox, okay? Sly, okay. The word sly. Okay, sly, sly meaning crafty, okay, crafty meaning somebody who is very tricky, okay. Let me tell you the meaning of this word. Sly. Okay, sly meaning somebody clever. Let me take you to the dictionary now. 
Okay, we can go to the dictionary. Okay, now see here. Okay, meaning clever or tricky. Okay, so see here, this meaning clever or tricky. So the sentence here says, My little sister is a sly as a fox. Now, what is this? Is it a simile? Is it a metaphor or personification? Haya, tell us what is this? Sir, metaphor. Metaphor? Uh, yes, sir. What makes you to think like that? Okay. How do you, uh, why do you feel that it's a metaphor? Did you, uh, can you recall the rule I told you about simile and metaphor? Okay, you say it's a metaphor. So, what is a metaphor? Do we use words in uh, metaphor, words like is? Yes. No. Let me take you back to the screen. Okay, th where I told you the rules. Now see here, metaphor. Read this. Metaphor is also used to compare two things. It's a direct comparison. A is B. For example, Ali is a lion. Okay. Now here, let me also write a sentence. Okay, it's a direct comparison. It, it doesn't use. Okay, it doesn't use words like other words such as such as like. Or is okay. So see, you said that it's a metaphor. Okay. Now here I told you some somebody meaning is something. Okay. Or is somebody is somebody. So see here uh, we don't use words a is or like. Okay. So here in this sentence. Do you see the words is is? So it's not a metaphor. It is a simile. Yeah, it's a simile. Okay, so good. Now I read the second sentence and let's see if you can understand. When it comes to geography, Param is welking. Yes. Okay, here go on read. Aram. Mm -hmm. Aram is a walking in. Mm -hmm. Sensipodia. Encyclopedia. Okay. When it comes to geography, Aram is walking encyclopedia. Now, what is encyclopedia? Have you ever heard this word? Who has heard this? Encyclopedia. Okay, it's a very big book uh, containing a lot of information about the world. Okay, in, in that, you know, you can uh, get information about the maps, about the, you know, countries, uh, all kind of information about countries, about world, about people. Okay, it's a kind kind of uh, you know a collection of data. Okay, it's a very big, heavy book. Okay, in a in a library also you will find uh, many encyclopedias. Okay, so the sentence says when it comes to geography, Hiram is a walking encyclopedia. Meaning, generally geography geography is a study of earth okay geo means earth graphy means study okay so geography meaning study of earth meaning uh, when you talk about the world okay when you talk about the countries countries population and all these things all this information about the world okay so when it comes to geography hiram is a walking encyclopedia meaning hiram knows a lot of things about geography about uh, study of earth Okay, now tell us uh, here, here that uh, is it a simile, metaphor, or personification? Sir, personification. Personification, okay, very good. Why do you feel it's a personification? 
Yes. Can you tell us? Yes, I hurry up. Because because we are giving okay. Sir, we giving qualities. Okay, we are giving quality, right? But see, is it a human quality? Yes, sir. How? You know, uh, see, encyclopedia is a kind of book, okay? It's a kind of collection of data in a, in a form of a book, right? So see, book is not a human, is it? And we are saying when it comes to geography, Hiram is a walking encyclopedia, meaning Hiram is a main, right? And uh, encyclopedia is a book so we are not giving hiram any human quality we are comparing it directly again you told us a wrong answer what is it now hurry up what is it now hurry up tell us i'll move to other students now hurry up sir metaphor Metaphor. Why? Can you explain this now? Because? because. Yes. Sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, it is a direct comparison. Okay, good. So we are comparing. Meaning, see, we are saying Hiram, consider this A is walking encyclop encyclopedia. Meaning, A is B. Hiram is encyclopedia. Okay. Are you getting? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, now raise your hands, those of you who are waiting for your turn. Who would read the third sentence and explain it and tell us what is that? Is it a simile, metaphor, personification? Who would tell this? Hajra, you go ahead because you have been here from the beginning of the class. Some students have joined now. Raza Hussain, Ashfa, Adnan, they have joined it now. Is Adnan from our class? Adnan Hider? Yes, sir. Okay. So, Hajra, you tell us, read this uh, sentence number three. Yes, sir. Sir, how often in a day do you use the information superhighway? Okay. Sir, it is... Yes. Sir, pers uh, personification. Why? Sir, because we find qualities. Okay. So see here, we uh, can understand it as or like words have not been used. And there is also not a kind of uh, direct comparison. There isn't something is or is. Oh, is okay. Meaning A is B. So you are left with the option that it's a personification. Okay. So let's see. We will see in the key how it's a personification. Okay. Let's move to the next sentence. Okay. Read the sentence. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Hajra, read the fourth sentence. The bus waits patiently for the elderly couple to board okay now explain this sir it is also a personification okay, why sir, because here is no any a's are like okay and what is the uh, human quality here sir, uh, patiently waits patiently Okay, very good very good so humans wait right bus can't wait okay so we are saying bus just you know stands okay you just put it um, you know uh, somewhere and it just it stands so you say the bus waits patiently okay so you are giving this human quality to a bus okay very good so it's a personal now let's read the fifth one who would read the fifth one those of you who have joined us now if you have understood this uh, raise your hand and I'll give you a chance to read something. Yes. Ashfaq, would you read the fifth one? 
Ok, acho para a Cleide. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Você trabalha bem? As quick as a wink, the thief had the jewels in his grasp and was over the window. Ok. Sir, it is a personal, personal fiction. Personification. Sir, because it's a thief, sir, thief. Oh, thief, no. Yes, sir, thief had. Okay. No, it's not a personification. Personification is giving human quality to a non-living thing. So what is here human quality and uh, how you give it to, you know, a non-living thing. Is quick as a wink. The thief hid the jewels in his grasp and was out of the window. And was out the window. Okay, meaning very quick. Out the window. Hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. It is a wink. Just a kind of, you know, a kind of, uh, you know, uh, wink. Okay, wink. You do you understand what is a wink? Let me uh, tell you it. Okay. Yes, sir. Wait, wait. Okay, I'll just do the thing. Uh, please put yourself on mute. Okay, now see here. For example, uh, uh, think it, it has two meanings. Okay, to quickly close and open one eye is a sign or a sign to someone. Okay, meaning akashamba me. Okay, so here another meaning. If a light winks, it flashes and or on and off very quickly. Okay, in a wink. Okay, so see here that meaning very quickly, it's saying very quickly, as quick as a wink. Manji Akishambi at the Karmi, Chika the Oin the Karmi Mana, Chika, the Akh Maujet, a pimping by Milimiji, the Karmi Shimbi Ak Chika, Sinim Chanayosa. So as quick as a wink, the thief ate the jewels in his grasp. Jaldi means you got the man upon Jay, at the main grasp, Karishinon keep a clean and was out the window and the Hamani Kribu. Hanio Budayo, the Yakim personification team. How is that personification? Hurry up, we are uh, out of time almost. So it's not a personification. Now, what is that, Ashfaq? This was a compare the game, compare Kensa the game. Yes. Hurry up. Okay, here you go on, tell us. Yes, that's part. Yes, sir. So, word could you still have is. I saw the pretty as it is that in use in the other. Yes, I need comparison. And you can compare it with simile. It is a simile. Yes, it is a simile. Okay. Now, Ashpak, read the sixth one. Okay. Uh, you read the sixth one. Crutch meaning a stick that fits under your arm so that you can lean on it and walk when your leg or foot is injured. Okay, a pair of crutches. Okay, see, uh, let's see the picture. So, see, this is the picture. Okay, okay, crutch. Do you, do you understand what is a crutch? Manu Jika in the Saharo Watanwa, Jerin Chika. Okay, so let me share the screen again. I got disconnected. So, see, can you see the picture of the crutch? Can you see the picture? Yes, sir. Okay, now see, is crutch is a kind of uh, say, a kind of stick on the Atika. 
जिका तां पांजे बाहा में खड़ंदाओ जने तां टेंगर या तां जे पैर में को सूर हो जे ठीक है या इंजर थी वने ता उन जी हेल्प वठंदायो ठीक है इकमा लठ हुंदिया जे के मानु घुमी न सकदा है ठीक है ठीक है ता ओए या यूज करना इन क्रच ठीक है नाउ लेट्स गो बैक टू द सेंटेंस ओके सो हु वाज रीडिंग द सेंटेंस आया यू आर रीडिंग और हाजरा वाज रीडिंग एनीवन कैन रीड Ajra, you did. Some students are in the class, but they came late, so they might not be able to understand this. So those of you who have been here, sir, may I read? Okay, Ajra, read. Sir, I. Yeah, yeah, sixth one. Yes, hurry up. We are out of time. Yes, sir. Yes. Can you see the screen? Okay. The parents were afraid that their child. The parents were afraid that their child would use the calculator as a crutch. Okay. Yes, Ajra. Tell us. So again, I got disconnected. Tell us what is the, it? Uh, what is this? Is it a simile, metaphor, or personification? Are you? Can you hear me? Okay, everyone. Uh, we are going. <coughs> Okay, we are going to end the class here. This handout already I have given you in GCR. Go through it, okay, and uh, uh, tell me your options in GCR. Okay, so everyone, uh, I think there is a internet issue. So again and again, uh, we are getting disconnected. So this handout is already in your GCR. So go through it and uh, choose your options, okay, and uh, we are uh, we'll discuss discuss it in Google Classroom, okay. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for joining. I hope you learned something. This recording will be on your YouTube. So those of you who joined us late, they can go through uh, and go to my YouTube channel and watch it again and clear your concepts. Sir, voice is not clear. Yes, there is. Sir, our voice is clear. So I'm going to uh, disconnect now. Okay, I'm going to end the meeting. Thank you very much. We are already out of time. Okay.